Yo, let's do another beat making video. It's been a while, but uh, I got some new stuff for y'all coming. So let's start with this record. This is the front with uh, Janice Hyen. Uh, let's play a sample. I hope I don't get censored. And then uh, let's see what we are going to do with it. So we're going to load it up. Let's go. Alright, so what we're going to do It's a goodness to When you got that piece of sample we can do uh, chops between the vocals So we're gonna do that with all the recorded pieces Knowing right from wrong Like this let me get a chop like this. So I'm going to load all those chops into the MPC 60. And let's see what we can do with the chops. Three hours later. Got the chops up in here. And uh, I pitched them a little down. Something like this. Maybe a little smoother, but it's a nice begin. So let's go with the drums. And for the drums, let's check it out. I'm going to get. The Love Unlimited Orchestra. Very wide. Always nice, always fat drums. Pitch it down a little because I know this is a fast break. There you go. The drums. I'm gonna chop those to one shots, load them into the MPC 60. Two thousand years later, and then a softer one, a louder one with more distortion on it. So let's check it out. down the kicks something like this let's go for the snare I always like to put the snare fixed let's go I hear a nasty nasty hum on it let's chop that off I don't like this, so I'm gonna use a decay on the snare and then I trim it. Ha, oh, that's better. I hear the same sh That's much better. But I think I need to replay and record the samples. So, yes. Okay, let's do it. Put the quantize off. I don't like it. 
It's a Maybe I need to uh, speed up the BPM. Let's check it out how that works. There. 92 BPM. I can't live with that. And let's go for some hi hats. Got them from a floppy and I recorded uh, some real drums from my drum kit on this floppy via the MPC 2000. So let's get that hi hat. Let me see where it is. I like. Let's call it head number one. Also a small hum on it, but I can fix that like this. Alright. Let's do the 16 levels. Keep the drums uh, more and more easy, not too much. Sometimes you need to go uh, along with the sample when you record a kick drum. To cover the chops, you need to put the kicks on it. That's how I like to work. So, when you hear the sample, I put it on solo. where I want to place the kicks to make it more fit. Like this and let's go uh, dig for some other samples because this is a nice nice foundation maybe uh, we can get some uh, horns, trumpets. Later. Well I got another one for the horns. This is the Great Jazz Reunion. Really cool, I got them for uh, 3 euros, about 3.5 bucks. So, um, I really go with the first uh, track, uh, the Cotton Tail, it's, uh, it's from Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong. So what I do for my mixer is I uh, cut out the low end because I don't need it, because I'm going to lay it on top of it uh, a little bit high. And then uh, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, so I'm going here, I pitch the sample down just to make it a little fit for the sample to see if it works, so what we got, pitch it down by 80. nice enough and then I heard a step got this one too into the MPC 60 let's see if it fits why not let's go Levels, let's go. So, like that, it's a quick beat. Um, I use three records. First record I used was uh, the Genesis Iron, is this one, and what we use is the for the horns. The great jazz reunion and for the drums 
we've got the unlimited orchestra so three records quick beat hope you like so uh, see you next time peace